So what could be worse than pretending to attend Stanford when you didn't intend it and then say, saying that you claim to be accepted to Harvard Law? Well, according to anonymous judge, C recently made claims about being paid $5,000 plus dollars to put something secret for SGC, which I never believed. A judge saw her selling 80 plus anime dead judge promos at LD Oakland in 2023, which raised eyebrows because other judges claimed to never receive theirs from the conferences she ran. She has repeatedly used other TO's money like it has been her own without asking, and it has affected events. Ben H. from Maryland claimed repeatedly to have worked directly with Ravensburg on constructing the Locana Core rule document, including stating it would definitely be released by X date. It was not, and there was no evidence that the work occurred with an entirely different individual being hired as the rules manager of the game. Ben H., 20-ish. I can't remember the specific event, but I was at dinner with Kayla and a few other judges. A few of us game for the check, agreeing that whoever came in second would get the cast from everyone at the meal who didn't want to game for it. I came in second. Kayla never paid for my meal. Levy W. Borrowed a Pioneer deck from me, blocked my messages, and calls for months. Anonymous Maryland. At a NRG conference, Kayla claimed to have organized the judge community of the DMV to enforce better wages and working hours. She also claimed to be connecting judges to stores as the area comp captain used to do. This was an entirely a lie. In reality, she was banned from judging for multiple Maryland stores for repeatedly lies to the tournament organizers as well as suspicious behavior involving selling mass amounts of judge promos. MMG. I am the marketing director of Misty Mountain Gaming Brand, which includes our Class for Cast tournament series. Kayla was hired as my C4C customer for customer social media marketing assistant roughly three months ago. She was interviewed by our company, president, and hired based on her impressive work experience in marketing and social media management within the MTG space, which included working on the marketing team running social media for Star City Games and Top Deck. Remember, Top Deck said this person is shit, man. Top Deck was on this list, among other reputable established brands in the space. Over the course of roughly two months that she worked with us, I met with her several times to resolve issues we had with regarding communication, dishonesty, assigned work not being completed, a very similar experience to the one given by Mikey of Top Deck. All right, there's, there's so many. We just got to kind of skip the, the fluff. I overheard Kayla say to another person that she got 10 of her secret layer giant growths from one member of the event staff, 295 limited giveaway at Magic Con Minnesota 2023, intended to be distributed one at a time to random people at a con, current value $200. So she's been stealing from the player base, man. She ain't going to no Stanford. She ain't going to no Harvard Law. She's just been stealing. She ain't nothing but an OnlyFans model. Mm. She was judging a mod. How, how do you let this OnlyFans model steal from you like this? Magic the Gathering, I'm asking you. She was judging a modern, modern Monday at level up. I believe she was playing for the free O. For whatever reason, she had a vendetta against me. My storm opponent cast flashback past in flames. I remand the flashback. Opponent knew the magic call to judge to ask where the card goes. After checking Gatherer, she rolls back to his hand. The wrong ruling, somewhat obvious. Opponent recasts and kills me. Gabby Emerson. I'm not sure if this wholly counts, but we had agreed to carpool for the NRG Lansing from Baltimore, and I was driving down to meet up with her. At the very last minute, she says, Don't come, we have COVID, with no offer to help me after she committed. Anonymous Judge. Last year, 2023, I worked at the event where Kayla was my lead. The event was okay, but as our lead, Kayla would be ready for the day and the team would still be engaged in various roles at the convention and she would leave for the day, leaving her team behind still working. One day, she had some Chandra tokens out that have a QR to her OnlyFans on the back and she only gave one to our younger attendee. If I had to guess somewhere between 15 and 16 and told him he can scan the back in a few years, haha. That's illegal as 
fuck, man. To be perfectly clear, I support and don't condemn SW, but time and place, and that was not the time, place, or the audience you should have been engaged with. Anon. Lied about being friends with the professor to learn in community call. Oh. <laughs> of course, you gotta drag the professor's name in there. And I got a dollar. Only fans model. Lied about Pro Tour finishes. Lied about being cast in a Hallmark movie. Who the F wants to be cast in a Hallmark movie? Lied about being a tournament winning chess player. Okay. Lied to me about being in an open relationship to cheat on her previous partner with me and later cheated on me. Well, okay, come on, man. What the F is going on here? Lied to me about being in an open relationship to cheat on her previous partner with me and then later cheated on me as well. Like, come on, man. Come on. Like, you gotta stop. Just effing stop this. Convinced, coerced me to make an OnlyFans content with her. Paid me much less than, oh, jeez. So this is the guy's blank that's on her OnlyFans, right? Repeatedly gaslit me, made me for feel worthless in our relationship, emotional abuse. Lied to people about me physically abusing. This is something that she has done multiple, alleged multiple times has done. While I was in the hospital, suicide. Uh, th okay, this guy. And then, uh, worst of all, abandoned her two dogs and two cats and is living in Europe to avoid consequences. I mean, people who abandon their pets are just the most evil people. As someone who's fostered 11 dogs and four cats, let me let me tell you something real, really obvious, right? So when you have a pet, they depend on you. They're not like wild animals that can support themselves. They're like babies, right? I recently had a daughter. Um, and, and they're not self-sufficient. They rely on you for every meals. They rely on you to clean their cat litter, to walk them, uh, to take them outside. These are not... Things. So, so when you have that type of relationship with a animal, a living being, and then you abandon them, this is one of the most awful things you can ever do in your life because you have, you've established that relationship with that living being. And as a foster parent, it's really hard to let them go. It's always hard to let go. That's why I don't do fosters anymore. I just straight up donate money now. Um, because you establish a connection. So for you to just break that connection and not feel bad about it, you're a mother effing psychopath. For you to lie about Harvard, Ravensburg, uh, all these other companies you worked at, right? Like you are a mother effing psychopath. And you need to be stopped. Uh, on point blank, yeah, I'm a lawyer. Let's go to court. You think I'm defaming you? Like, let's see, see, try me. Try me. You know, I have another channel, and we all we do is talk about defamation lawsuits on that channel, and so it would be great content for the other channel. This is the worst person I've ever seen in my life. Worse than, yes, I always say this, this is worse than the mana source. At least he took the, his half a million dollars, ran to the UK, and shut the F up. He didn't, oh, oh wait a second, he did come back. Okay. <laughs> Scammers, right? They keep coming back to the scene of the crime. 